it's me, Herb. Today I'm doing the first in a series called Mailbag. Inspired by Julian, link in the description below. A mailbag is where I open items that I've purchased, either through my own money or hopefully in the future Patreon, uh, if people like what we're doing. So this is a Retro Friends mailbag. So let's see here. I don't even remember what I've ordered to go through each item. It says SDK CF to PC2 adapter. Value is $4.99. China. SDKCF. I think this is actually an SD card adapter. Let's find out. Is that bad boy open. Yes. It's actually a CF card to SD card adapter. Um, I believe it was about $5.99 actually. So very, uh, very much the truth here. You can see it takes, uh, <clears throat> actually, uh, it's like this goes into a PCMCIA slot and some sort of pin based card plugs in there. It says compact flash adapter. Maybe the compact flash card fits around that. I don't know. Anyway, I saw this online and I figured let me get one and see what it's like since I have a couple of old Windows PCs that take this kind of thing. Alright. Alright. Let's see. Uh, this one says for uh, LED lamp quantity 2 and um, basically let's see, this is from Hong Kong it right there Hong Kong alright so I suspect this is first of what's going to be a series of LED lamps that I ordered and they probably won't be to my expectation so this is the item it's an E1224 so this fits an E12 socket which I've heard is the same thing or can be fit into an E11 or maybe the other way around but I these are for my fans in the house or I'll just open them up very nice very cool looking uh, I like this dome got some holes to allow moisture to leave so I would say this is an indoor lamp and this is supposed to turn it into soft white light as opposed to harsh LED light let's see if they're identical because I think I got a couple of variations but maybe not nope two identical so uh, looks like that it's got a corn style uh, orientation inside very neat. Okay, so I'm gonna put these away back in their boxes, or maybe not. Well, yeah, why not? I have a wide variety of LED lamps that I'll have to show you sometime. And uh, I'm just gonna put these aside for now. On to the next package. Alright, comes in a soft container. This could be clothing, but it's not. Mint, no, mini USB board microcontroller. And again, oh, Azerbaijan. And this came from Baku, Azerbaijan. Uh, so, neat. Let's see what we got here. I don't even need the thing. So again, it says it's a mini USB board 
microcontrollers times one. And that it came from China, actually. Maybe Azerbaijan is in China. I'll have to look that up. I thought it was in Africa or something. All right. A lot of packaging. Let's see what we got here. So, there's a board in there. And then there's a... Uh, then there's a cable. It's a nifty cable, very nice. Blue, translucent, you can almost make out the... Uh, see, it's a translucent blue cable. And it's a printer style USB, what do they call that? B? I'm not sure. And uh, the regular old USB. Okay, so what is it? It's a kit. It may not even be a full kit. Nope, it's partially constructed. And it's an Arduino! I think. Yes, it's an Arduino Uno that I ordered like months ago. It finally came. Congratulations. I'm not sure what that's for yet. Alright, we've got this white package, which is actually an item that I returned to an eBay seller named Suddenly Matt. Um, uh, yeah. So he always packages his boxes exactly like this. With his own logo on the tape. Pretty cool. Matt's a nice guy, but he gives me a lot of boards that don't work right. And uh, that's too bad, because I want to be like, oh, Matt's great, but uh, all I can say is he's a very nice guy and he'll try to get the board working but lo and behold all right. and inside we have a packed CF uh, IDE card compact flash to IDE oh and he sent me another no he sent me it back oh I must have left it in there smart man uh, oh it's a little loose Right in there. A little loose there, Matt. Maybe that's what the problem is. So, I've gotten this board back. He says he has tested and tested this board. He made a modification to it. You'll see there, by the time you anybody sees this video, he'll probably be already on his way to producing more of this style. But basically, he has a uh, uh, an, an adapt to allow me to run an uh, old style LED off of this uh, header uh, which is uh, just a higher voltage LED but I, I tried different LEDs and I don't know Matt it uh, didn't work out you know this could be sold as a kit except for the surface mount stuff over here so it looks like he put well that looks the same at first he was concerned that there would be an issue on the uh, connectors here, but it looked pretty good to me. Anyway, he's been over this and tested it and says that it works fine in his 5150, but in my 5150 uh, this card does not function and his theory is that some other board that's in the 5150 is conflicting, but I don't have any boards that I think are conflicting and he sort of left me with that and now I'm left with this to try out uh, in a little bit and I will so we'll see how that goes alright final box it looks like this Jameco Electronics on it and there's the J from the this is actually there is one other package now that I think of it I'm not sure where it went to. I'll have to go track it down, but uh, this particular item is undoubtedly a bunch of electronic components and I'm actually not sure which ones they are because there were several, but I have this tiny uh, screwdriver tip and I'm just going to open it up and we're going to take a look inside and we're going to see what's in there. So... Oh. They use water activated tape at Jim Jameco. And it has 
so water activated tape is a security and environmentally conscious alternative to pressure sensitive tape that uh, I don't have the money to afford right now. All right. Ah. Oh. Not that I do that much shipping at this point. But I do. But whatever. All right. So that's open. And now I should be able to pull that open. Very nice. Very nice. And inside, we've got a lot of things. Wow. All of that. And let's look at the packing slip. It says, Major Brand, IC4164150, DIP16, DRAM, 64KX1, 150 nanosecond. And a bunch of solder tail, low profile sockets. So what this is, is a whole bunch of memory chips uh, for the IBM 5150 and like brands, uh, a compact portable is coming my way soon, so I'll be installing some RAM in there and maybe do a little bit of a retro lab or tool shop video on that. Um, and these are the, uh, the, I could take them out of there actually. These are the solder sockets. Why the sockets? Well, I'd like to desolder uh, the soldered ones to the board and install these sockets. And I figured I'd just buy some extra since I keep going through them. Uh, might as well. Alright, give me one second. I'm gonna go find that other package. Dun 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 It's long. It's long because it's a whole bunch of ICs. So let's pop this baby open. See how this goes. Well, I like to package, but hey, it's a bunch of paper. Throw that away, recycle it or whatever. And here it is. A whole bunch of two hundred and fifty-six. A whole bunch, about 40. 256K NEC RAM chips for the same model uh, early IBM PCs. So that's it for the mailbag. Thanks so much, and don't forget to subscribe.